Taylor and I've been traveling for over a decade both in the military and as a civilian. I'm now a travel vlogger and I've been on hundreds of flights and I know exactly what I need to bring with me to make my trip on the plane more enjoyable and more comfortable. So if you like travel videos and travel hacks, stick around and hit that subscribe button because the next video is coming to you from Hawaii. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all of the essentials that I bring with me in my flight bag. So to get started, the first item I like to bring with me is actually a seat pack. Now this is made by a company called Flight 001, I believe. And I'll leave the link in the description below if you're interested in picking one of these up. But I love this because it keeps all of the essentials in one little bag that I can keep in the seat pocket in front of me. Everything else can be stored underneath the seat in front of me or in the overhead bins, but this little baby is what I use for my, my go-to for all of the things. And I'm gonna break down each of these compartments and show you what goes inside of this bag, and then we're gonna cover the rest of my bag. So each of these compartments is labeled differently. You have a pocket for digital things, a pocket for travel ID, a pocket for what's labeled as arrow stuff. Not exactly sure what that means, but I've kind of created my own meaning for it. And then the back side is jet comfort. So the pack has four zippers and four pouches. So here's what I keep in the digital pouch. The digital pouch, I have a phone charger. Some larger airlines will actually have an outlet for you to plug into. So having a phone charger and not having to use a battery bank or a battery pack is kind of a nice thing to have. The next thing in my digital pouch, as mentioned, is a battery pack. I use a basic anchor. It's I think it's 20,000 milliamps. I'm not sure on that, but this will charge my phone fully several times, so I never leave home without this. The next thing in this pouch is a pair of earbuds with the old school jack. This is important because a lot of the planes that you go on don't have the newer lightning cable plug-in. So if you still have one of these laying around, definitely don't throw these away, bring them with you. You will thank me later because the quality of earbuds or headphones that they pass out is not necessarily the best and you want to have good sound, especially if you're trying to get lost in a movie on your flight. Speaking of headphones, this is kind of one of those purchases that I was not anticipating to happen, but I kind of sort of accidentally tripped and fell and stumbled into a Bose kiosk and I didn't think that the noise canceling earbuds would be as effective as they are until I tried them. So the guy at the kiosk is like, here, you wanna try them out? I'm like, yeah, sure no intention of buying and I put them in my ears and I turned them on and I like I said I tripped and fell and stumbled on a, a transaction that I made whoops um, and I went home with these but I do have to say these have been such a lifesaver when it comes to long-haul flights because it just gets really annoying after a while listening to that buzz, that hum that you hear on airplanes. It's also helpful for cutting out chatter or if you're trying to sleep, love these. Also important to have is this little connector so that you can also plug it into your phone. The, the pair that I have comes with the standard jack, so uh, important to also have this for so many occasions. It's nice to have. So the next pouch that we have is the travel ID pouch, and this is where I keep my passport. It's also where I keep a pen. And the reason for this is because when you are on an international flight, they pass out customs cards. And a lot of the times they don't have pens or pencils for you to have. You, you actually end up having to borrow your neighbors. So having one or maybe two so that you can lend one to your neighbor would be very helpful. You can also keep things like paper tickets in here if you have those. These days, everything tends to be online as an e-ticket or loaded onto your phone, and that's kind of how I use uh, all of my tickets. So the next pouch is called Aero Stuff. Aero Stuff. 
The first thing that I want to mention is these little sleep supplements. You can get these at Whole Foods. I love them. They're little chocolate candies and they have melatonin in them. So these I like to take on a red eye flight when I'm supposed to be sleeping. This just helps relax me a little bit and melatonin is natural and not habit forming. Another option for you if you're not comfortable taking melatonin is to bring sleepy time tea or any kind of uh, sleep inducing tea. You can bring the bags on flight with you and just ask the flight attendant to uh, give you some hot water. Next aero stuffs is the one of the most important items that I have, and I have two sets of earplugs. Crying babies, conversations at four o'clock in the morning, airplane noise. This is a great alternative to the noise canceling headphones. And sometimes these might actually work even better depending on what kind you have. But I like these, these are great. I always make sure to have four because I'm always losing one and that's no fun. Next, I carry with me just a couple of pieces of gum. And this is so that when the pressure changes and when you are descending, usually you'll feel the pressure in your ears and it helps to kind of loosen your jaw and open up your airways that way. In the Air Force, they taught us a maneuver called the Valsalva and I wouldn't recommend doing this if you have sinus issues, but it's basically the plug your nose and blow lightly until you feel the pressurization change in your ear. And that is actually a lot more effective than gum, but gum works just great. The next thing that I always carry with me is my migraine medicine or any prescription medication that you can't live without that you have to take. I would definitely carry that on with you and not leave it in the checked bag because it would be terrible if your luggage was lost. And sometimes it's really difficult to reorder your medication, especially if you're in a foreign country. Could you imagine? That brings me to my next point is headache medicine. Just over the counter ibuprofen works great. I get regular headaches on planes. I get migraines on planes. So I, I make sure that I'm fully prepared. Chapstick. It's really nice to have chapstick up there because it gets really dry and it's just nice to have your lips not feel like the desert. Moving on to the back side, I have tissues. It's really important to have tissues because you might have a spill or you might have a runny nose. It's just nice to have those. Again, with it being really dry, it's nice to have some lotion because your hands are going to get dried out. It's nice to have moisturized skin. An eye mask. I can't stress this enough, especially for red eye flights, because there's nothing worse than finally being able to doze off and the person in front of you turns on their light to read. This will help block out that light and help you get some much needed Z's before you arrive at your destination. Hand sanitizer. There are so many germs on planes, especially on tray tables. So it's nice to have this especially for right before you are getting ready to eat something. Speaking of germs, hospital mask. Yes, hospital mask. I have gotten out of so many uncomfortable situations because I had this with me and it's something that I actually picked up when I was over in Southeast Asia. It's a lot more widely uh, acceptable there uh, to see people walking around with hospital masks on their faces. A perfect example of when something like this comes in handy is not just for the obvious, someone is sneezing and coughing next to you, but the other reason I love having this with me is if there's someone who is wearing strong perfume or strong cologne and I'm trying to get some sleep, it's nice to have. Snacks, emergency snacks. They usually pass out pretzels or cookies on flights, but if you want to eat something before they get around to you, then it's nice to have either a power bar or something that you can have, especially if you're taking medication and you don't want to take it on an empty stomach. So that is the seat pack. And again, this goes in the seat pocket in front of me. Next, we'll see what's in the rest of this bag. I always bring with me my laptop charger and my laptop. Have those with me. My camera, which is with you guys right now. I also have my expensive gear. I never check any of my expensive gear 
maybe a tripod or something, but that's about it. I have my GoPro, I have my drone, my DJI Pocket Osmo, or Osmo Pocket. All of that I keep with me on the plane, just because people steal and it's just no bueno. So in the next pocket, I carry with me my wallet slash purse wallet. It's a wallet purse. Medicines. These are the less important medicines. These are for uh, first aid. There's band-aids in here. There's a granola bar. There's some um, anti-itch cream. That's not something that I need to access all the time, so it stays in my bag. I bring with me a comfy pair of socks, and this is for especially those long haul flights when I just want to be comfortable and nice and fuzzy and yeah, they keep the feet warm because again, it gets really cold up there and those are just nice to have. Speaking of socks, it's great to have compression socks, especially for really long flights that are, I would say more than six or seven hours. I made the biggest mistake on my way home from Hong Kong. I did not wear compression socks and I came home and my ankles were the size of softballs. Oh my god! It's not fun and it's not pretty. Not really painful, but it just, it can be avoided with compression socks. So the next thing that I bring with me in this pocket is my bag of makeup. This isn't something that I want to check because it's something that I can't lose. I have expensive makeup and therefore I carry it with me because I consider it a valuable. It's also nice to have my makeup with me because then when I land, I can freshen up and I'm ready for the day. Don't forget your sunglasses. You might not need them on the plane, but you certainly will not want to be digging around your luggage when you get off the plane and get into the bright sun. Nice to have these readily accessible. Carry your house key and your car key. This stays in a special secret pocket in here and it doesn't leave this pocket. That way when I get home, I don't have to go digging around my luggage to find my car keys or my house key. Toothbrush and toothpaste. It's nice to have these for when you're on really long flights and you just feel like you have garbage breath and you can go to the lavatory and freshen up with these. You can also bring some deodorant and face wipes. These work great as makeup removers as well, but it's nice to just kind of freshen up. That way you don't get that airplane funk feeling that sticks on you. And a little mini brush for the same reason. So what I'll do is I'll bring with me all these things to the lavatory, go freshen up, and I come back and I feel like a new woman. So I'm not a big fan of airplane neck pillows, but if you have to get one, make sure that you get one that is memory foam. All of the other ones that I've tried really don't seem to work out. The inflatable ones are not that great. The ones that are filled with little beads, those usually break. This one I've found to be the most comfortable, and what I like about it is I can connect it there so that it's a nice tight fit but I've just gotten so used to sleeping on airplanes without them that I don't even bring this with me anymore. Now, if you're not used to falling asleep on planes, I would recommend getting yourself one of these to carry around. And the great thing about this is it condenses, rolls up, and it comes in a little pack that you can usually squeeze in and it doesn't take up much space in your bag. Also, don't forget to bring some form of entertainment, whether it's a book, a Kindle, music, or a movie on your phone, because long flights can be pretty boring. Now, the last item I bring with me is my hoodie, and I will not pack this because I can save space by just wearing it onto the plane. If it gets too hot, what I can do is just take it off and tie it around my waist, and then that way it's not taking up valuable space inside my bag. So there you have it. This is all the stuff that I bring with me when I board a plane. These are the things I cannot live without. Some of them I probably could live without, but over time I've decided that these are just things that make me more comfortable and 
what works for me might not necessarily work for everybody. It might not work for you. So really test different things out. This is just my personalized list of things. I hope you guys found value in this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, travel hacks, travel destinations, I do encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Check out the Hawaii vids that are coming up in the future very soon. And just so that you know exactly when I upload new videos, make sure and hit that bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Like this. And like this. I think he's good. I cannot hear you, I cannot see you, and I cannot smell you.